I am mobilizing all available federal resources, civilian and military, to stop the rioting and looting, to end the destruction and arson, and to protect the rights of law-abiding Americans, including your Second Amendment rights. Therefore, the following measures are going into effect immediately. First, we are ending the riots and lawlessness that has spread throughout our country. We will end it now. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about what you just saw, which was a snippet from Donald Trump's most recent talk at the Rose Garden. And if you want to see that full thing, I'll link to that in the description box below. But you heard what the man said. I thought it was pretty straightforward, pretty cut and dry. It's like, look, if your leaders in your city, state, town, etc., cannot protect you or will not protect you, Bill de Blasio cough, cough, then we, meaning the U.S. government and the U.S. military, will come down to your town to do the job for your leaders and for you. Now, I am in 1,000% support of this, and really, my opinion, it should have come a little bit earlier. Like, this came out yesterday, which was Monday, June 1st, 2020, but it should have came out right when the riot started. Maybe even before the riots, if you were able to kind of foresee that it could be some riots, get everybody in place right away to prevent the damage that happened, not just to property, which is important because let's not try to downplay that like it's nothing because people got to have jobs to go to. People need the infrastructure. You got old ladies on TV crying because they can't go to where they would normally go to get the medication and the food and stuff like that. They don't have a car. They're on the bus. And like people don't understand the way people live. They purport themselves to be in favor of the, the poor brown man, the poor brown woman, et cetera, but they don't understand what they got to go through on a day to day basis. If they did, then they would not be in support of the destructive riots. But that's a different story. And I digress. My whole point is that Trump said, hey, if you can't do it, your leaders or you or whatever, then we're going to do it. And I am in 1000 percent support of that now. We got to talk about rights because people are saying, hey, he can't do that. He can't send the U.S. military to American streets and patrol us and jail us and whatnot. Well, little do you know, there's a thing called the Insurrection Act of 1807. And in that act, Trump or any other president has the power to send the U.S. military onto American streets in certain specific times, whether it be general civil unrest, which we'll be seeing right now, civil unrest an insurrection or rebellion. Those three reasons give power to Trump to send the U.S. military out to the streets. And I think that we need that right now. Like I said, we have general incivility going on, the, the rioting, the, the looting, the shooting, all kind of stuff. You got officers getting shot, killed, run over with cars, hit with mortars, people getting hit in the head with, with bricks and all kind of stuff like that. So I think we're at that particular stage, not all over the United States because one thing I like about this country, which is what Trump mentioned, is our Second Amendment, okay? You're seeing people protect their businesses, protect their homes and their neighborhoods with their weapons. It was crazy because I saw some people in the Freeattle, a.k.a. Seattle area, Bellevue, right across the river or whatever it is, the water. <laughs> they were protecting their neighborhood with guns. OK, so I was kind of surprised to see that. But at the same time, I'm not because we live in America. You have that right to protect yourself, to protect your property, to protect your neighbors, to protect your friends. You know, we have that right. So I'm 1000 percent with it all day long. Now, like I just kind of hinted to earlier, people like Bill de Blasio are against sending the National Guard. But it's like, why? OK, your city has basically fallen. What are you going to do about it? If the police have no support, Bill de Blasio's own daughter, uh, what's her name? Shiera, a.k.a. Bebop Ninja Turtles. She got arrested 
for engaging in the, the melee out there in New York. The apple does not fall far from the tree. You see what's going on. Bill de Blasio hates cops. He's the mayor. His daughter hates cops because her daddy hates cops. She was raised to hate cops. So they have no support. So there's no surprise that he would not allow the National Guard to come in. But my thing is, okay, what are you going to do, sir? You hate the police in general. Your city is burning. So, like, what's going to be the next course of action? In that case, you need the U.S. military. Like I said, if the leaders of your place won't do it, your governor, mayor, uh, whoever, if they won't do it, it's time for the U.S. government to come in. And let's get this under control. Now, this is not small potatoes. You're not going to use the Insurrection Act lightly, okay? It's not really thing that gets used ever. So you make sure you, you want to tread lightly. And I think that if he uses it right now, it is sending a message to anybody else in the future. Like, don't do this. Don't be out here looting, shooting, carrying on. Just don't do it. If you're engaging in peaceful protests, like Trump said, then I'm all for it. 1000%. If all the protests were peaceful, then I would have no problem. Okay. People were talking about, oh, but you're mad about protests now. What about when the white guys went into the capital of Michigan? They were peaceful. If there was an armed peaceful protest in this situation with George Floyd, then I'd be all for it. The problem is that it's not peaceful anymore. Even the peaceful protesters, by being out there with the non-peaceful people, are the same. Because you're just adding to the mass of people that the police got to deal with. You see what I'm saying? And at a certain point, you got to be able to define what peaceful is. If you are like Bill de Blasio's daughter and you're blocking traffic, but you're not assaulting anybody directly. Are you peaceful? You could say, oh, my hands up. I ain't doing, I'm just sitting here, but you're getting in the way. You're, you're blocking traffic. I got to be able to get from point A to point B. I got a job. I got kids. I got to, you know, I might be an ambulance. I'm trying to get to an emergency call, fire trucks, emergency vehicles in general. Why would you block the road and then still call yourself peaceful? A peaceful protest is in the control area, where you're not endangering people, blocking people, you know, where you're not impeding anybody's forward progress or hurting anybody. To me, that's a peaceful protest. But if you're blocking traffic, throwing rocks and bottles and bricks and sticks and shooting and carrying on, that is not peaceful. Most of the people out there at this particular point in time are just engaging in general violence. You have two camps that are engaging in the violence. You have the professional types, the Antifa types, who are very well organized and funded. Where the money comes from, different stories, so I digress. My whole point is that they're very well organized and funded. They're going to be out here just trying to cause general mayhem because that's what they do. They're an uh, anarchist type of movement, which is weird because like, they, they want to engage in anarchy, but what they're doing is bringing about more government. It doesn't make any sense, but I'll move on. Anyway, they are more of an anarchist movement. Your Antifa, maybe even to a certain extent, Black Lies, L-I-E-S matters. All right. Then you have just the general knuckleheads that live in that particular area. And I've also seen some of the Antifa types directing local knuckleheads. So you, you got the you got you got the mostly white group Antifa directing the mostly black, quote unquote, insurrectionists, a.k.a. rioters and looters, scammers and stealers. It's weird how that works, but I'm getting way off track. My whole point is that all of that got to come to an end, all right? And if you're peaceful in general and you're not amongst the unpeaceful melee, then hats off to you. You should be protected. You're engaging in your rights. But then when you're in the mix, when you're in the melee, when you're causing issues yourself, you're no longer peaceful and you should not be protected. So shout out to Trump. I want the military to go to the streets and take the streets back. Innocent people are suffering. People that are not out there at all just want to go home, go to work, take care of the kids. They are suffering as a result. It's got to come to an end. If you, meaning your state, town, city, don't want to do it, then the military will. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think it's a good idea for Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act of 1807? And that's your viewpoint. Let me know why in the comments below. Or is it a bad idea? Should Trump not do that? And that's your viewpoint. Let me know why in the comments below. I'm having a hard time uh, trying to figure out why he wouldn't do it, really, because it needs to get done. It, it would not be his first option. The states are really responsible for the safety of their citizens. But when they feel, when they don't want to act, when they sit on their hands, it's got to get done. And that is 
one of the key jobs of the U.S. military to protect against all threats, foreign and domestic. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.